Welcome to a very quick new After Effects tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create a camera shake inside of Adobe After Effects. Now first up, why should you create a camera shake in After Effects and not just shake the camera while you shoot it? Because if you're doing visual effects work, it's way easier to shoot a static shot on a tripod and then add your visual effects and then add the camera shake back in the post because it's way easier this way because if you would have a camera shake in the shot while you shoot it, you'd have to track the entire sequence and that would make it a lot harder and maybe sometimes you're shooting something on a tripod and in the editing you're like man I should have shot this handheld or you're shooting yourself and you can't shoot handheld you have to shoot on a tripod if you want to know how to shoot yourself film yourself not shoot yourself you can find a video to that right here I also talked about that and then you have to add your camera shake back in the post to make it seem like you have more friends than you actually do and someone has filmed you when in reality it was just a tripod and you add the camera shake in After Effects, which is what we're going to do right now. First, we have to create a new sequence, or maybe you already have a visual effect sequence. Then you just have to pre-compose everything so that you have just one layer, like I have right here. Now, this example clip that we have today is actually from my post-apocalyptic short film Virus that I released last year during COVID, so go watch it if you haven't already. It was just way moodier than this, and I, I didn't do a handheld shot because the tripod style was fitting for that but today I'm going to use this to show you how to add a camera shake. Now on our clip or our pre-composition we click on this little arrow to open the drop down menu and then one more time to open the transform window. Then we click on the little stopwatch next to position but not just to add keyframes, no we're going to hold option while clicking on it if you're on Mac or alt if you're on Windows. Hold option or alt, click it and then you open the expression tab for the position option. In here it's pretty straightforward, we're just going to type in wiggle which is of course the motion we're aiming for and then we open a normal bracket and then type in 2 which is how often it will wiggle per second then a little comma and a 10 which is how much it will wiggle now you can of course try different numbers to make it wiggle more or less but once you're happy with your result you just close the little drop down menu right here and then you can hit play for the first time and as you can see the image is now wiggling now sometimes it will go out of frame as you can see right here because of course the image is now wiggling but there's a simple way to fix it we just open the drop down menu once again but this time we don't go to position but instead to scale and just scale it up by one or even two percent that should be fine you shouldn't have to increase it more of course it would be helpful if you shoot in 4k because you have to scale up but it's just a few percent so if you shoot in full hd it should be fine as well but nowadays pretty much everyone has a 4k camera i made a tutorial on the same effect back in 2016 and back then i also said it would be helpful if you shoot in 4k i didn't either back then but times have changed and nowadays 4k is pretty much a standard it wasn't in 2016 though and now one thing i forgot back then but one thing i'm saying very often nowadays is of course i should make a compilation of me saying that you have to enable motion blur not just for the layer but also for the whole composition and now you have your wiggling image isn't that beautiful i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please be sure to hit that like button and also consider subscribing for more amazing filmmaking and also after effects tutorials tips and tricks around filmmaking like this right here i stumbled across my words you can watch the after effects playlist right here you can subscribe right here you can watch the latest the last after effects tutorial right here and i will hopefully see you in the next video goodbye